All right, second video. So yeah, it's a boring day today, pretty much. I'm just, I'm just, you know, chilling in. It's hot. It's a bad idea to be wearing a hockey jersey on a day such as this. But who gives a shit? Me? No, I don't. Again, let me apologize for for all those who are going to. Bring up the old, are you feeling with a potato joke? I know the internet, I know the internet, but no, uh, it's not potato, it's a french fry, whatever. Um, not getting a special camera anytime soon, this is my webcam. This is the only camera I have. I don't even know what I'm doing, I just feel like doing these now. You know, I'm doing more in my life than I was before when I used to YouTube and stuff. You know, you know, so I have things to talk about, but you know. Who cares? Who cares? But yeah, um, basically this this video that I'm doing right now, it's just sort of talk, it's just a talk, show, talk, talk, um, on what I think personally right now. I can, I guess I can only speak for myself, but when I look at the grand scheme of things, it feels a little more, um, feels a little more. On the full scale, um, well, I'll just say it just feels great to be a juggalo right now. You know what I mean? You know what I mean out there? It just feels great to be a juggalo. I don't know. And the reason I say that is, um, what's up? I mean, let's get this out the way. The obvious things going on right now in our world, in our community, in our culture, juggalo, juggalette stuff. Uh, you know, Twisted is beefing with ICP. Or, really, if you want to be really in-depth and realistic with it, uh, Violin J and Monoxai are beefing, pretty much. They're not seeing eye to eye. Uh, it's Psychopaths versus Magic Ninja. Kinda. I don't know. Just, they're not on good terms right now, which sucks. It's crazy to even say out loud that Twisted and ICP are on great terms right now. Uh, Arm Cool or Beefy. That's something I never thought I would say. <laughs> you know, I never thought I would say about, you know, the, the, the dudes that I got into just from the end of the Love Song music video I saw a decade ago. You know, but it is what it is. Things happen. People change and whatnot. You know, and then there's shit with Young Wicked and whatnot, but you know, all that aside, if you try to look at things through a positive outlook, and it's, it's the year of 17, it's, you know, that's what Violent J, so ICP, Psychopathic Work has really been pushing. It's 17, it's the year 17. 17 is a big deal in our work world. We, we know what the, the impact and the, the meaning behind the number 17 is for us and Juggalos, the Dark Carnival. Uh, what it means, and so it's, you know, in this day and age with ICP, it's more positive. A lot of people don't like it, but it's, it's a new time, it's a new era, you know, so it's cool to be on a positive tip with ICP and just psychopathic like, records, just juggle. So, you know, when you look at this beef and the controversy and all the shit going on right now, if you look past that and try to look at things on a more positive note, it's a good time to be a juggler right now. And this is what I mean by it. People probably already say this. Maybe you've looked past it, maybe you haven't really thought about it like this, but it's like Patrick Records right now, all we have is ICP, DJ Clay, Big Hoodoo, Anybody Killer, and Light. There's no more Dark Looks, there's no more Twisted. There's no more Psychopathic Riders, there's no more A and B, Boondocks, Blaze, you know, definitely no Palazzo Rose. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, right now it's just like five hours. That's including ICP. But, of course, you know, they gotta have more. You know, there's gonna be more people coming to the roster, of course, soon. And,. You know, I look at that, it's just like, okay, well, things didn't work with Blasio Rose, that's another try for them to 
find another doper female that they can actually work with, and will actually, you know, click with us, you know? Because I've always wanted there to be a female artist on Psychopathic, and Blase, it didn't feel right. It just didn't feel right. It, it, it felt a little forced, to be honest with her. It didn't feel real, it didn't feel smooth. It didn't even feel like something that was really psychopathic in a way. I don't know, it just, she, she, she just didn't work with her. Some of us wanted it to work, some people didn't want it to work. It just it didn't work. So we move on. Hopefully they can find, learn from this and find somebody else new. But in the Fatal Lovers interview, the tell interview with ICP, a lot of people didn't really pick up on this or didn't care to mention, but they got a new group apparently. Val and Jay said they have a new group. They're waiting for the shit with them and Twisted and Emily and the March and everything sort of cool down and then they'll reveal themselves or they will be revealed. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to see what a new group on Psychopathic Records post Twisted uh, in this new Psychopathic Records and Magic Ninja Entertainment world looks like. What does a new Psychopathic rap group look like? You know, I'm hoping some new dudes you know, with something brand spanking new would come out. I'm, I'm interested to see that. So, you know, I'm interested to see, I'm interested to see what Psychopath is going to do now, you know, with all these things that have happened. Um, and then on top of that, you know, there's the march, which is in my neck of what I can't make the gathering this year because it's a little farther and than I you know, would expect to go, which is cool, different location. And I already have a vacation I'm planning on, you know, I'm saving up money right now just to go to the Psychomania tour and to do this um, festival I'm about to do in a few weeks. Maybe I'll vlog about that as well. So the gathering right now is not pretty much going to happen for me, but the March will, because March is in my neck of the woods. It's right down the street for me. It's D.C. You know, so March and the three concerts I'm, I'm most likely going to be doing. Unless something else pops up, but most likely I'll be doing those things. So that's something else to look forward to, you know, on the 17 tip. Uh, on top of that, you know, on the, on the Magic Ninja side of things, you know, they've just been putting out all this dope shit. Because, you know, we already know Blaze. We already know Tw Twisted. We already know Blaze. We already know ROC. We already know Boondocks. We already know Young Wicked. Um, so, you know, we have new music from them, and there are also, you know, a lot of people uh, have pointed out, some have it, but they're redesigning themselves. You know? This is a different Scarecrow than we're using. This is a different Boondocks than we know. Casting Factory Blaze is, uh, is a different Blaze we're used to. It's not the dead homie really anymore. It's, uh, he's, he's, he's sort of like a caretaker or something. You know? Kind of like the Kind of like a, a gangsta pimp undertaker a little bit, you know? I don't know. That's just how I look at him. You know? This ROC is it's, 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 it's something just wicked dope. You know? Just cool. You know, and it's not just all wicked shit, too. They're just spitting, you know? Um, but also the new arts on Magic Ninja making things even dope, you know? I mean, x Xmer boys are now over there as well. That's going to be interesting uh, to see. I hope that they really kicked some really cool shit. Hope Morte, uh, whatever that was going to be, ends up being on this new album that's supposed to come out soon this year. Um, you know, a lot of people never really liked the Axe Boys, but I always thought they were very underrated, undervalued, because they really are dope. Young Wicked is the shit. I mean, regardless of the controversy and whatnot, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's fucked up, but the artist, the talent, and Wicked, you can't deny that. You, you cannot deny that. And if you do, you're just, you just, you shitting yourself, right? You're, you're full of it. He's, he's, he's a talented dude. Um, I'm not really supporting him right now at the moment because of the issues, but I can't, I will not deny that that dude is, is, an, is a top artist. He is talented, hands down. But then on top of that, you know, the new artists, you know, the brands making new artists that are on uh, Magic Ninja, just Gmail Ski, Lex the Hex Master, 
through the voltage and you know they're not finished you know they got more people they're gonna be bringing out man and putting on this new label you know hopefully Whitney Payton even though she's not new but we don't to see her on there right you know or whoever they you know they add to their roster man it's it's cool it's new music and for me who's been a juggle for ten years but when I got into it you know I guess I was, you could say I was late in the game. It's cool for me now. And that's why I'm doing these videos now again because it's like, it's like being part of a new era. It's like, you know, seeing something new happen. It's a new era that I'm actually seeing going on right now, you know. You know, so I get to, that's why I'm, I'm stacking up on my Lexus. You know, I got, got the Black Season EP, which is dope. Got the Mr. Ugly mixtape, also dope. And I got, I got this from calling into the, the hookup show. So shout out to Mike from Twisted Shop. I got the Lex the Hex Master Unholy Trinity mixtape. Have you had to listen to this? But no, it's going to be dope. It's everything I've listened to by the way, so far is dope. You know, so I've got that. Um, I'm loving that. She must keep my filthy spirit bomb. It's the shit for the voltage to Apex. Everyone loves that. Everyone loves that. I don't listen to that nonstop. Um, I just get you beast of an album. Man. This is just nothing but bangers from beginning to end. You know. But yeah. Uh, you know, oh, also, you know. That's the, that's the package. Package. Oh, let's see. What is, is it a hat pin or just a pin? I can't remember what it is. I put it on my hat and it didn't really work out. But dude, it's dope pin. RLC album and the shirt the digital voodoo shirt I'll rock this as soon as I got it I'll rock it to work love that shirt I'll see it double the I'll see you know um this work is going to be a triple threat EP coming very soon um and also you know let me just magic ninja has a lot to offer, man. They are just, this is their year as well as being psychopaths. So I'm excited for that to see what they do. I'm also excited on the grand scheme of things as well as because this year is the 20th anniversary for two albums that changed a lot of our lives. I don't know about you, but Great Malenko and Most Tasteless are two very important albums to me. And a lot of chocolates. It's the 20th anniversary for them this year. I, I mean, come on. Let's let's be real. It'd be crazy. It'd be a crime if Twister or ICP did not tour these albums or, or just release some dope ass merch or something for these albums. I mean, 20 years. 20 years. You know. That's what I'm looking at things for, man. I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm looking optimistic. I know there's been a lot of shit going on. You know, the Young Wicked thing is, is it's a bunch of mess. But you know what I look at that is, I, the way I look past that is like, well, you know, nobody's perfect. It's fucked up what he did. Can't deny that. You know, but musically, we're going to get some dope shit from him. You know, regardless. You know, it's, you know, hopefully it's just not a bunch of, you know, Fuck you, Violent J, and Rob, or whatever. Bullshit. Don't mean none of that, okay? Just make good music, dude. You know, um, the, you know, the, our two favorite groups are beefy right now, but, you know, uh, I think Monoxide did a video recently, on Brunch and Break, he was just like, you know, all this will come to pass, and, you know, I look at that, so I take the word for it. So, you know, there's a lot of shit going on this year, you know, but hopefully, but there's a lot of fun shit going on this year for us Chuggalos, and I'm looking forward to that. You should, too. This feels going on long enough. I'm the Funky Phantom, a.k.a. Ghost Dog. Follow me on Instagram at Ghost Dog Bushido. You can find me also on Twitter with a similar name. It's just my IG name. Uh, if anything changes, I'll put it in the description if I feel like it. Anyways, peace and love to all y'all. Bye.